Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia. How's everyone this beautiful morning? It's a beautiful morning, but it's dry. It is so dry, y'all. We we can't get any rain, don't look, look like. So, oh, I'm out here. Here's, here's, I'm going to let y'all have my butterfly uh, cup this morning. And this is mine. It's my uh, bird cup. That's That's got my coffee. This is yours. Y'all come on in and get close up here where y'all can see and where y'all can hear <laughs> everything. So y'all won't miss anything. And this is my puny little flowers that I got this morning because it is so dry. There's nothing, everything is bloomed out and is dead looking. There's no hope for some of my flowers out there. It's just, I'm just letting them grow because I'm gonna save the seed that uh, are on them, the uh, zinnias. I'm gonna save the, after they bloom and dry, I save them and I plant them the next year. So I'll have some more flowers, but that a lot of them will just come up around your house, you know, from from these. I guess some of them fall off. I don't know, but it's a beautiful day, and but I have to water everything because it's so dry. The they it it doesn't take but just a little bit. You water them there be wilted again because they just it just evaporates so fast uh, it is a lot of records being broken because of the heat that we're having this time of the year there's a little breeze blowing uh, this morning uh, my wind chimes are trickling a little bit <laughs> I like to hear them but some people don't like them. But anyway, I'm going to have a sip of coffee. And there's y'all's coffee. You can have a sip. And, and it's it's not got no sugar or cream. It's just black. I don't think y'all can see it. Black. It's just black coffee. That's the way I like it. So that's the way I fix, I fix this one too. Y'all, we are having revival, and it's awesome. It started on Sunday night, and tonight is the last night. And uh, it is it has been awesome. They it's a little small church in the country, way back. You have to go all kind of roads. Like the name of the road that the church is on is Chicken Road. <laughs> Wait. We can't figure out how come that road is called Chicken Road, but that road is called Chicken Road. I mean, it's way back in the woods. All kind of roads you go, and but it's awesome. Those people are so nice and caring people. That we are so blessed. They're uh, serving us supper every evening. Before the revival starts, our church that's doing the revival is they are providing food for us, and it's been awesome. All kind of food, y'all can't believe the food that we are having. It that all kind of cakes and pies and desserts and salads and chicken and pizza and uh, ham and roast beef and just I, I can't believe this church this little church in the country I, I've never even been to a church that served the, the, the preachers well we go with the preacher and he didn't know the way to the church but anyway he he was making trying to make sure he got there so we all went together so we could tell tell him how to get there. Maybe uh, that's that's one of my 
uh, church families that I go to a senior dinner. Anyway, y'all, it is awesome. Those people are so, so nice. And just feeding us so well, we, we can't believe it. You know, it's just... But it is so good, and the preaching, my preacher, they are so, our preacher is a Pentecostal preacher. He kind of gets excited and <laughs> shouts and stuff. This is a Methodist church. They asked our preacher to come preach at a Methodist church. And I think they're not used to <laughs> how we do we get excited. We we let everybody know it. <laughs> but anyway, it's awesome. And and the music and the inner, uh, you know, the singing and all that stuff is is just awesome. It's just awesome to be a church family and have, you know, a church family that you belong to because you feel loved there, just like I am loved on YouTube. I, I am so blessed and so thankful for all my YouTube fans and family that I claim y'all as my YouTube family. Y'all bless me with y'all's comments and y'all's things that y'all say and I, I, I really ha have been so busy. I, when you go to church like every day like well, we, we leave here at 5 o'clock, and we don't get back to about 9 at night and driving over there and eating and all that, you know. But And, and you give out when you get back, and you want to lay down and rest. And It's just been kind of a fast-paced uh, week, but I wanted to start on this project because I know it's going to take a while to dry and all that. I just wanted to get started on it and so I could get it started and get it finished before too long. But uh, we, we're so having such a wonderful time at that church. It's just awesome and I'm so proud to be uh, a part of it. Anyway, and y'all are telling me, and I don't know y'all, I have not seen a hummingbird this morning. I believe they may have gone. It's time for them to go in past time, really. Uh, but I believe they have gone because I don't see any. Which I don't see any birds either, but I know they're here. But those hummingbirds usually are buzzing around and but you know, they always leave and go wherever they go. <laughs> I don't forgot now where they go, South America or somewhere. Anyway, they'll be back in March, about, about around the, somewhere after the 1st of March, they'll be coming back in here. And I believe the same birds come back because I've, I've seen them go to places where I had them hanging the year before. They'd come back and like look and see if there was one still out. And y'all, they, they come up to my front door. That My front door is glass. You can see through it all the way from the top to the bottom. Those hummingbirds come up there to that door and they look in there. And they look like this, and they look around in there. You can see their little old heads just looking. They look in there at me. I don't know if they trying to tell me something or what, but they come up to that door and and look in. I be sitting on the couch right where they can see. They see me sitting in there, and I, I'm just amazed at a bird, a little bird like that noticing you like and they won't let you get real close to them but they'll get closer than these other birds they have flew right up to my face 
and just looked at me, you know, like trying to tell me something. And I, I'm just, I'm just amazed at them little things, how, how they uh, observe. One, one day, I was looking out the window, and I, I looked, and I, and there was a hummingbird was flying by, and he stopped in mid-air and looked at me, and I was looking at him, and he was looking at me. He noticed that I was looking out that window, and he stopped and was looking at me. And they'll just look at you and just, you know, new, they see me, and they, they, they knew I was looking at them, and they were looking at me. <laughs> I'm just amazed at them. I love them little uh, hummingbirds, and I love all my birds. But I guess I need to, oh, y'all are telling me y'all like my little pumpkins I made. I think y'all could do that, and it's so much fun. Y'all Y'all can do all kind of creative things in it. Some of it's not real, real hard. And uh, that wasn't it. I made it harder than it was, but it wasn't hard. It just was lengthy. I, I took a lot of time because I, I cut my pieces as I went, you know, a lot of them. And then I'd stop and cut a lot of them, but it wouldn't take long to use them up. So then I'd have to cut some more. But I got through with it and I think it was the cutest little project and so what I'm gonna do today is let me get my pot around here this is a awesome pot by itself I bought it it wasn't much. I loved the way it was, the, the stuff that's on it, you know, the little designs that's on it. I, I don't know how they made that, but I liked it anyway. But anyway, I'm going, I'm going to take this and turn it upside down and put something over it. I don't know if I'm going to put plastic or a cloth or what I'm going to put yet. But I'm going to cover it with Hafatufa mix. And I'm going to do something else that's going to be a little extra special on it. I'm not going to tell you right this minute. I'll let you see when I get started doing it. But that's what I'm I'm going to do uh, to uh, Portland cement and a little bit of sand and peat moss and perlite. That's what that's what I used for my mixture, hypha tufa mix on here and start letting it dry so we can see how it's going to be. <laughs> I hope it I hope it does good. But anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off right now and get started doing this project. So I'll be back in a minute. Don't go away. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back. I already got my cement stuff brought around here to mix and show y'all how to do it. And y'all, would y'all be surprised if I said... I don't want to use that pot that I showed y'all a while ago. <laughs> I went around there and I found another pot that I'd rather use than that one for this project. Uh, y'all, that's how I do. I, I really am not set on any exact thing. I just do what I feel that I need to do right then. And I'm going to show y'all the pot. This is this is my coffee I'm having this morning and and y'all please forgive me for not uh commenting on your your comments to me. I have been so busy. I I don't have time and I sort of hurt my back a little bit this week 
I don't know what I do know. I, I, I done a lot of cleaning up around here and I done a little too much heavy stuff and Cody got on to me about doing it but you know he wasn't here and I wanted it done and I don't know uh, any other way to get things done that that I want done but when I want it done to do it myself but I'm gonna try to be a little more careful because uh, it was hard kind of doing what I needed to do and get dressed and uh, get on the van that we, we went went to revival in a van. You got to climb up and you got to reach up there and get a seat belt and thank the Lord they helped me get my seat belt. They put me in the seat and they helped me so much. I am so blessed. People just are blessing me so much. I, I've never been so blessed in my life and I'm so thankful. But please forgive me if, if I don't answer your comments right away. And I don't know if I'll ever get that. There's a lot of them, and, I, and it's hard for my little self to answer all of them. I, I did answer one this morning about a hummingbird. They, someone found a hummingbird that was in a, a spider web. I found one myself in a spider web, and I thought. There was not another one in the world, but come to find out, someone else found one in the spider web and got him out. And that little bird was so give out, his little old heart was beating. You could just see him just, he was just all messed up. He was wound up. He couldn't move. He was tight as a cocoon. He couldn't get, he couldn't, there's no way he could have got out. But I went in there and I, I got a little cup of warm water and I put some Dawn dishwashing stuff in it and I got a soft toothbrush and I brought, I had him in a little cloth because I didn't know if that little thing would sting me or stick the bill in me well, if he could, you know, when he got where he could. He was so tired he couldn't even do nothing. He was just, he was just hanging there, just was no way he could have got a loose. But anyway, I went in there and I got a little toothbrush and I took that toothbrush and I scrubbed it across his little old wings and all across his head and everything and got all them webs off and he was still like laying there, couldn't move. He was so exhausted, you know, and I don't know how long he'd been in that web, you know. He couldn't have been in there too awful long because it was at my bathroom window and it's uh, I got the curtains open. I have a hummingbird feeder right outside that window so I can see them when they come eat. I see, and but he was he was up there side of the window where a spider web had was was, and I didn't realize it was there. I try to keep a check on it now that there's not any spider webs around. But finally, I put him around here on the porch and watched him for a while, and he finally kind of got where he knew he wasn't tangled up anymore and he flew off and I was so proud that I found him before he died in that spider web and someone else had the same experience as me. They found one in a spider web and they got it off and, and let him go and he let, he stayed. I guess mine did too but I couldn't tell which one it was. They all look alike to me, a male the male looks different than the female, that's all I knew. I, it was a male that was tangled up. All right, that's enough talking for me. Y'all, I, I get to talking, I don't know when to quit. But I love talking to y'all. Y'all listening, y'all don't interrupt, y'all don't say nothing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going, oh, here's my, this is my, this is my pot that I'm going to use for this project. It's a, it's a plastic pot. I got it somewhere. I don't know where, where I got it, but, oh, an ant on my foot. 
Anyway, this is the pot I'm going to use for my for my project today. So, and I got this old thing out to protect this table when I go to put put it together. Uh, I'm going I'm going to put this in it. So, I guess I can get it out, but I'm not 100% sure that I would be able to get it out. Okay, I'm I'm gonna mix up my cement up now. There's my tub. It's in the picture. Let me put my gloves on. I tell y'all what, I'm gonna go change my battery before I continue because it's, it's probably going to stop, and I don't want it to stop when I'm doing something important. Y'all, this is six cups of Portland cement. I've measured it and strained it and everything. I... Okay. Okay. This is six cups of peat moss. Six cups perlite and two cups of sand. That's what I put in there. Oh, I haven't put my gloves on yet. You stir it up a little bit. You get this. See, see some sticks is in here. You try to get them out, but it's not too important. If they're small, you know, it doesn't matter. I don't think I... I do different than a lot of people. Uh, people strain their peat moss and all that, but I don't. I, I just use it. Okay, mix it up a little more. This right here has a little bit of sticks in it. Okay, now I'm going, and I don't know if y'all remember, but you don't want too much water. You want enough, but you don't want too much. That's not enough. stuff because it's not real real heavy it's it's a when it gets dry it's a little heavier when it's still wet but when it gets dry it's real real light it's it doesn't uh weigh a lot and it's pretty i like i like all the uh little designs in it and uh, the little perlite that's in it and the sticks and all that. I like all that stuff in it. It's not hard to make this. Just a little more water in it. Let me do the test. See, you could just make, 
I mean, it, it doesn't fall apart either. You can throw this around and <laughs> let it fall and it won't break, but it will come apart. But, but if you, it's like you can make things with it and it'll break right apart, but it, it's good to put where you want it and for it to stay where you put it. Okay, I'm gonna put my mixture right here close to my oh y'all can't see <laughs> okay yo when I start doing the inside I'm gonna show you the I'm gonna put the camera on the inside I'm gonna go ahead and Put some of this on the, around the bottom. Okay, let me wash my hands off. Y'all, this is some... Let me see what it is. says sea glass and it came from the dollar store the dollar store and I'm going I'm going to put these little pieces in this mixture I don't know how it's going to do. I, I just thought about this is what I was going to do. I'm going to put, see these pieces, they are so pretty. Let me hold it up here close. I love this stuff. Okay. That's good as I can get it. These little pieces like this, I'm going, I'm going to stick them down in here, right close to the edge, and when, when I take this uh, stuff, when I take it out of this mold, I'm going. kind of carve around it and I, I don't really know how this is going to do y'all because I've never never ever done this before and I just thought that it would be a good pretty and I'm going to try to I hope it stays in there if it don't I'm going to glue it. If any comes out, I'm going to stick some glue and stick it back in there. But I think it might just stay, you know. I've never seen this either. Uh, I've not seen anybody do this at all. So, this is a first and probably one of a kind. You know, when you put this in here and you let it dry 
Then you come back. You don't let it completely dry. You let it dry some. And then you uh, kind of carve around to, to, to do some indentions that you would like. These little things wasn't but a dollar a bag. And I'm, I was thankful to get them because I, I like them. I like these things. And like I say, if 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 they come out or something, you know, don't don't uh do what I thought they would do. Maybe stay in there and carve around them and let the cement hold them in. But if they come out, all I'm gonna do is. Put some uh, some glue in there in that hole, and stick them back in there, and let the let the glue hold it. And I got some glue that will hold anything like that in. And won't move. I'm packing this in real good, so can y'all see? I'm. I don't know if I can do it left-handed or not. Okay. Put in a, another piece. Oh, my camera cut off. I, I guess I have to get me some new batteries. They're not lasting very long. more around here like I said y'all if these don't stick if they come out I'm just gonna put some uh, glue on them and stick them back down in the hole where they came from and Because I've never made this before and I don't know how it's going to do. I'm just really not very, I don't know. But, you don't know until you try. And if you don't try, you won't never know. <laughs> Does that make sense, y'all? <laughs> 
I think these was cute little things from the dollar store. Uh, little gems, and when I found them, I, I got two or three little bags of them, but they're not all that many in a bag, but that's okay. I'll, I'll try to make them last as long as I can. And they're all sizes. Some of them's a little bigger than the others, so I'm trying to work with that. I like to have a lot of different things to work with, so I So when I decide something, I can just go ahead on and make it and not have to worry about getting things. You know, I like to have things on hand that works, will work. Y'all, I hope this does right. I don't mean it will. Okay, I'm I'm going to put some more stuff around here, and then I'm going to try to fix the top. have enough cement and I think I will it's hard to judge you know exactly how much you're going to need but I do pretty good at judging you know the amount that I need I guess I've been doing it long enough I can kind of judge it. I'm probably talking too loud for that camera to be this close to me. Y'all know y'all have to wait till it dries to see how these little stones are going to work. Not sure y'all about that because I have I have never tried this before and don't know how it's going to work. The stones may be just covered up too much and can't be seen, but I'm going to try, you know, when it gets close to drying and not too hard to carve, I'm going to. to open it up and see if we can see what we need to do next. As long as you have an indention where that piece went, I see no reason why you can't put some glue in it and put it back in there if it comes out and it may I don't I just don't know I, I just have no idea what it's gonna do okay there's a little piece right here y'all this stuff is so easy to work with to me I 
I love working with this. Anyway, I'm going I'm going to put some stones around here. And maybe they will stay. And if they don't, then I have some glue that will stick them on here and and won't let them come off. Like I say, if they come off, I'll glue them back on with something. Okay, I found this little, used to be a wind chime. I'm going to stick it down there in the bottom and make a hole. Okay, y'all, let me take these gloves off. Okay, y'all, I've I've done done all I can do to this plot today. I put all these little things in here and I, I just got to let it dry now and and then come back out and see how many stones is still in there and how many is fell out and how many I'm gonna have to glue back on and or whatever is gonna happen. I don't I don't know. I've never done this before. I don't know what to expect. So thank y'all again for being so patient and kind with me and uh bearing with me when I'm doing stuff that I'm gonna uh, close the camera now y'all y'all uh subscribe and click the bell and share and thumbs up and all that that y'all do so sweet for me to uh for my youtube channel i'm so blessed thank y'all so much for watching me and making such kind comments to me Y'all are so sweet. I don't know <laughs> how I am so blessed with all of you. But anyway, I'm going to uh, cut the camera off now and put this around there and let it dry for a few days. I don't know how many days it'll be, but it'll be a few days before it's dry. Well, I'm not going to let it completely dry. I'm going to let it, which it takes a pretty good while for it to all the moisture to dry out and it to turn but I don't usually wait on it to do that I usually I'm going to take it out and carve the little stones that I've got down here and kind of let them show and see see how they look I hope I hope they look good <laughs> I hope they do but I don't know that but y'all and have a blessed blessed day and I'll see y'all when I come back to uh, see how this is doing. Bye-bye.
Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here on this beautiful early morning. It's nice and cool. It's not hot yet. <laughs> it's 70 degrees, and it's 8 o'clock, and it's nice, but it's still so dry, y'all. My grass looks like a hay field. <laughs> no, hardly no green anywhere. And I try to water a little bit to keep my flowers from dying completely, all of them. But it seems impossible to do that because they, oh, I got birds out there uh, in the, in my other rock garden. And oh, y'all, I'm having coffee. This is my cup that uh, was sent to me. And this is the shirt that went with this coffee <laughs> cup. <laughs> uh, I'm th so thankful for all my gifts that y'all send me. I wish I could remember everyone's name, but my little brain is kind of used up. It's kind of got so much stuff up there that it can't process anything else just about. But... I do appreciate it and I thank you so much and I love all my YouTube family and friends and viewers and all all that uh, participate in my YouTube channel. I'm so thankful and so blessed. And y'all, I told y'all a story that wasn't true. I told y'all that my hummingbirds were gone. But they are not gone, y'all. They still here. I don't. I don't see one right now. Oh, there's one right there. I know if I move the camera, it'll. He'll leave. But anyway, they're here. And they're still flying around, eating and doing whatever they do. And y'all, y'all, I, I thought when you got old, or <laughs> you, you got to slow down a little bit. But it seems that I have speeded up and I don't have time for nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm. I'm going to this, and I'm going to that, and I'm going, uh, just, it's just something to do all the time, and I'm needing to do my, uh, my YouTube, uh, videos, and I got up early this morning trying to get everything together where I could start mine and get through with it before it got too awful hot. Uh, and I like the morning. I like to come out and drink coffee in the morning. These blue skies and like clouds, like wispy little, uh, not bunched up, rolled up clouds. It's just like a hint, just like a wind is in the clouds. And it's kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to tell y'all. But anyway, it's not just billowing clouds. It's just like fluffy little flyaway clouds up there. So I love them. I love all the clouds, whatever they are. I, I love the outdoors and what the Lord has made for us to enjoy. And I am bound to enjoy His beauty and His grace that He gives us. I am so thankful. And y'all, I have I've had company, and I've went out to eat, and I cooked dinner yesterday for my company. My sister has passed away in 2003. Uh, her son and his family and came down from like Atlanta, Georgia, like Smyrna. That's where they are from. That's where they live now, but... It's all Atlanta to me. <laughs> anyway, I cooked chicken and dumplings, a big pot of chicken and dumplings. 
and lacy cornbread and i put some pictures on my facebook of of our family here yesterday and people asked me what was lacy cornbread <laughs> i thought everybody knew what lacy cornbread was but anyway if you put if you put lacy cornbread on google it'll show you lacy cornbread it's like corn meal and water and a little salt and you mix it up real thin and you pour it in a i pour mine in a non-stick frying pan and you pour little uh <laughs> little round little things and, and it kind of laces up around it turns brown it's so good and that's what we had chicken and dumplings and a lacy cornbread we we were going out to eat last night too so i didn't cook anything else but just that that's all they wanted that was that was plenty they said so anyway we had chicken and dumplings and lacy cornbread and then we went out to a restaurant, seafood restaurant on the river here in where I live in this town. And it's a, they have shrimp, catfish, all kind of seafood. And we went there yesterday evening and had supper. I call supper, y'all might call it dinner. I don't know, but I, I've always called it supper. So I'm gonna call it supper. Cause I can't, I probably can't say that every time anyway, cause I'm not used to it. But anyway, we went out there and had supper, and it was so good, and the fellowship was awesome. We talked about old times. Do y'all love to get together with your family and talk about things that has happened <laughs> to you a long time ago? It is so much fun and so enjoyable to get together and laugh and, and enjoy each other. That's that's what life is about. That's what God wants us to do is be happy and joyful and enjoy our life. And I, I'm trying to do that because when you get 81 years old, your life, you know, it's not way back there when you was like 20 and 30 and 40 and 50, <laughs> way down there, you know, you, you're on the downside so I'm not sad about being 81 years old. I'm so blessed and thankful because I have so many people that love me and they tell me they do it. I'm not, I'm, I know they're not telling uh, untruths because they don't have to. They don't have to say anything, but they do. They tell me they love me. They, they show me, they send me things. They uh, are so loyal to watch my videos and and I've got uh, I think I'll have 88,000 subscribers maybe tomorrow or some near it's it's all is is uh, it's not gonna be long before I have before I have 88,000 and and I'm trying to get to 100,000 and I, I, I'll get there, I guess, if I live. <laughs> so let me have a sip of coffee, y'all, and let me get started showing y'all I get off on talking and I don't do what I come out here to do. Because <laughs> y'all listen and y'all don't interrupt and y'all y'all just patiently sit out there and, and listen to me talk and talk and talk. So thank y'all so much for being so patient and kind. If, if y'all are irritated with my talking, just speed through it and get to somewhere where I'm not talking if y'all can <laughs> find that place. <laughs> okay, y'all remember, I made this, this is a Hypatupa pot. It's made with Portland cement, peat moss, perlite, and sand just a little sand not much just a little and it's a lightweight and i and you make it and you let it set and dry and i put some stones on it and i don't know if these stones are going to be able you're going to be able to see them or 
off. They're going to fall off or, or what they're going to do. But I got some, I, I bought some little brushes that I'm going to try to brush the cement off. Anyway, let me, let me get up. I can't do anything but talk sitting down. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> Let me get another sip of coffee, y'all. It's so beautiful out here. Y'all see back there, my my leaves are, well, y'all can't see. But anyway, I'll tell you, the leaves are falling off on my trees back there because it's getting fall and it's dry. And it's kind of, the tops are kind of bare looking back there, but it'll come back in the spring, so I'll be, I'll be ready for spring because I love spring. If I can get through winter without freezing to death. Okay, let me get up. And I might zoom in on this pot a little. I'm going... Try to take it out. I may have to turn it upside down. I'll be right back. This is working or not. Okay, I'm going to try this. just came out by itself but anyway I'm going to try to take this plastic off oh Oh, y'all can see my little glass on there. And y'all, I may have to let it dry uh, a little more where you can see it. It's still a little damp because I wanted to take it out because I wanted to work on it a little bit. I need a turntable. I can see better. You 
don't want to take too much of your stuff around these stones off because you don't want them to fall off. But you want them to be seen because they, some of them got a little covered up. This turned out awesome. I thought half of them would be fell off. I didn't know they was going to stay on this good. I had some out here I was going, which I may still have to stick some on. I don't know, but. And when this stuff right here, this uh, half a tooth of mix, when it gets dry, it will be light color. It'll be. Oh, this might take a while. Oh, getting on me. Can y'all see? I didn't know this was going to stay on here this good. The stones are not near falling off. I thought they might. You know, I didn't know because I'd never done this before. And I didn't know how they were going to stay. take a while to get all this stuff out from around these stones and I can't see that great. On this side y'all I decided to come over on this side because I could see better uh, my camera cut off <laughs> my camera cut off and I'm I'm just still trying to get some of the cement out from around the stones and <clears throat> it's taking a little while and I'm just I'm just chipping away you like you know kind of getting it where the stones can be seen more of them because some of them got kind of surrounded with with cement when I knew that was going to happen but I didn't realize that they were going to stay as good as they're staying I thought they were may fall off but they're not falling well they haven't fell off yet I'll say that but if they do, I can put them back. And I've got to clean the stone some. And because they have cement uh, uh, 
you know, kind of clouded with cement right now, but I'm going to clean them, and I think this is just going to be absolutely beautiful. It's already beautiful, and the stones are not even, can't see them as well as I would like, but... Y'all, this is, y'all, this is another original one of a kind. <laughs> Let me sit back down before I fall down. Yep, this is one of a kind. There's not another one like this. waited if you wait too long you can't do this you can't get this off this good you can't rake it off it's like hard cement it won't move so that's why I came out this morning and started working on it because I knew that it was you know, it's been a few days that I knew that it was going to get too hard if I didn't come out here and start uh, getting some of it, some of this stuff off. And I went to a, I went and got this little wire brush that is helping a lot. But this is some little chisels that I have that someone sent me. And y'all, I'm so ashamed. I can't remember who sent me everything. But I'm so appreciative of it. And I, I'm so thankful that y'all care that much. Is to see things that I need. <laughs> and send them to me. I am so surprised that this stuff is staying on here like this. I thought half of it would fall off. Really, I didn't know. I really didn't know. Because this is the first time I've done this. And when you don't know, you don't know. But you find out by doing it what works and what doesn't work. my wire brush and see if this helps any it's gonna take a little more than wire brush up here it's kind of thick right here did not think this stuff would stay on here this good so y'all this is something that y'all can uh, try it and 
and see what you get. You could, you could put, I guess you could put anything in there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because I don't, this is the first time I've ever done this. And I don't know what, what you can do and what you can't do, but I don't know if something smooth would stick real good or not. You know, I just don't know. But, like I say, you have to try it and see what works. I can't believe this stuff is staying on here this good. And you see when I rake it, how the little uh, uh, so, uh, perlite stuff shows when you dig into it, it makes that stuff turn lighter. It kind of shows up the whiteness of it. I'm not going to paint this pot. I'm going to leave this pot just like it is because uh, it, it, I would not paint this at all. This has got too much beautiful things in it to mess it up with paint. And I'm probably not going to put anything in it either. Which I don't never know what I'm going to do till I do it. could change my mind. <laughs> I changed my mind about the pot. I could change my mind about this. You never know. Oh, it's so pretty. I am so proud of it. Oh, let me rake some of this off. And it's gonna show up better when it dries. Uh, some I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let it set out and today and it's early morning and this afternoon I'm gonna see what how it looks. I'm gonna clean these stones a little more. And y'all, there's a little bit of cement on these things. I don't know how you would keep the cement off of them. I don't guess you can. But I'm going to brush it, and I'm going to wash it, and I'm going to see how they look and y'all remember these are just things like this that I have little round where y'all at these little round little pieces of gems and rock looking things but they're that's what I put on there okay y'all I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it for right now and let me get a close-up or closer up or and turn it around where y'all see it. It doesn't look that great right now, but I'm sure when I get get it cleaned off and get the rocks clean, it's going to look a lot better. Is that not awesome, y'all? That is so pretty. Okay, y'all. Let me 
zoom back out for a minute. Okay, y'all. I'm going to uh, let it rest and dry a little more. And I'm going to clean. When it gets drier, I'm going to clean these stones as good as I can. And I think it's just absolutely beautiful the way it is. But I would like to clean the stones a little more because they have cement on them. And it's, it's all not off. But thank y'all for watching my video. Have a blessed, blessed day. Subscribe and share and click the bell and thumbs up and all the kind things y'all do for me. And see this little nice breeze I have here? I see leaves falling off the trees back there. It's, uh, you can tell it's getting fall. And I'll come back, maybe this afternoon, I'll come back if it, if I have time. I, I have my company still coming back over uh, today. And, but if I don't uh, get back this afternoon, I'll come back the next day and we'll see what we got. <laughs> Thank y'all. See y'all later. Don't go, don't go far away now because... I'm going to be back and let y'all see how pretty this is. Not as pretty as it's going to be. So y'all got, y'all got to, y'all got to come back and see how, how much prettier it's going to be. Bye-bye, <laughs> y'all. Let's have a sip of coffee. I know y'all sitting out there drinking coffee, so let's all have, let's all, let's all have a toast to each other. I toast y'all my YouTube family. Thank y'all for watching me. <laughs>
I, got, I haven't got my coffee around here. Uh, I won't. I I didn't like the dullness of the the stones after the cement got on it. It it would not shine up like I wanted it to. You need to do to make a project look the way you want it to look. It's what I say do. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you don't really like the way that it looks, you know, just do something that makes that makes it look better to you. Cause that's who, you know, I, I'm trying to please myself and I'm trying to please others. If I'm not happy with it, I don't, I'm not proud of it and I don't want to, uh, I want to be proud of my projects. I guess y'all can see it, can't you? Yeah. So this is it. It when it when it dries completely. Where's that mockingbird? <laughs> He's up in that tree. Oh, uh, when it dries completely, this part right here, this hypotupa, will like be a uh, real real light color it will not be dark like this and these stones will show up better when it gets when that uh, darkness gets off of these stones it will look better uh, I want to thank y'all so much for watching my videos and subscribing and sharing and tolerating me sometimes I get talking and I might talk too much <laughs> but you know I like to talk and I like to tell y'all what I'm doing and I like I like to hear from y'all and I'm sorry that I can't get to my comments like I should I read them I read every one but and I and I try to answer but when I get started, I'm so slow at it, I, I just feel like I, I don't have time to sit there and, and answer these things because I got places to be and uh, like like our revival and stuff. It was it was pretty packed <laughs> week. It started on uh, a Sunday night and it went to Wednesday night was the last night. And so my... Uh, my nephew came and we had things to do and we talked and you know you can't when you get my age I don't know if I could do it if I was younger or not I don't know you know I'm just I just like to make this stuff that's beautiful and and I want y'all to understand that that it's not that I don't care about what y'all say because I read your comments and I love them. I love your comments. It makes me so proud to to know that I have all these people that care about me and that love what I'm doing. And so, but I, I just wanted to explain that uh, I'm, I'm really trying to tell y'all why I, I don't get around to all your comments because I'm I just I just don't have that much time to sit and do that when I'm got everything to do and little time to do it <laughs> so please bear with me y'all and uh so hard to I want to answer everyone and I but I haven't, I can't do it. I, I just can't do it. I, I just don't have the time. And I, and I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm so blessed to have y'all. And y'all all have a blessed, blessed day and the rest of the week. And uh, y'all keep uh, watching. And when I make another video, y'all will see it. And I wanted to show y'all the inside of this pot. Uh, I'm gonna get up and move the camera and let y'all. It's really nothing to see because it's just
uh, it's just uh, like I don't know if I can. Where is the pot? Oh, I got to take it off with this tripod. There it is. Y'all, that's the way it looks. And y'all have made my life so much better and such a I've lived a long, a long time and I've never had so much fun and people that really cared, cares like y'all do. It's just, it's just a miracle y'all that, that what the Lord has done is let me know that I had this ability. I didn't know I had this ability y'all. I didn't realize that I didn't know that I had it. But you, you sometimes have abilities and talents that you haven't found yet that you can do. But I'm, uh, I'm just blessed and thankful for, for the Lord showing me all, all this that I have. And, and I'm so I'm just so thankful for for all that I have, and and I I want to say again, y'all have a blessed day. Subscribe and share and all that that y'all do, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. And don't uh don't quit watching me, please. <laughs> Keep watching because you never know what you're gonna see. I may make some chicken and dumplings one day <laughs> and show y'all how I do. Lacy cornbread because people have asked me about that before but I haven't had time to do it but I'm going to take time one day and do that for y'all and I'll see y'all later oh and here's my cup and my shirt <laughs> okay bye bye